This video will explain how to wire the auto purge ball valve to an Omron timer. Safety disclaimer. This product should be installed, commissioned, and maintained by qualified and authorized personnel only. Install according to installation instructions and comply with all national and local codes. Use electrical wire that is sized and rated for the maximum voltage and current of the application. Do not perform installation while the equipment is connected to power. To wire the ball valve, you will need both a Phillips and a standard screwdriver, crimpers, wire cutters, and wire strippers. You should prepare a black wire and a white wire to each have a stripped end and a female connector. Two female connectors are included with your ball valve. You will also need a green wire with two stripped ends. Remove the three screws holding the shell to the housing and pull the shell off to the side. Lead your wires through the conduit hole in the casing so the outer shell can be reinstalled later. The female connectors on the black and white wires should be inside the ball valve. It doesn't matter which end of the green wire is inside the housing. Make sure the motor wire with a female connector is attached to the top connector of the switch. Crimp the green wire to the free motor wire using the included wire crimp cap. Then, connect the black wire to the bottom connector on the switch, located on the side. Attach the white wire to the remaining connector. Reattach the outer shell with the original screws. Pull off the relay backing to the Omron timer. It may take a little wiggling. Port numbers start at the bottom center with 1 and increase counterclockwise around the relay, up to 8. Connect the black wire to port number 3. To do this, loosen the screw and place the wire underneath the plate, then tighten the screw to secure the wire. Connect the white wire to port number 5. Put the green wire in port number 7. It will need to fit underneath the connector already there. Connect power to the open connector on the fuse and to the bottom prong on the manual purge switch. You should also attach a ground wire to the grounding screw on the timer. The auto purge ball valve is now wired and ready for use with your Omron timer. We hope that helps you understand how to set up your valve. If you need more help, give us a call or send us an email. Thank you.